Hello, Radiant Soul Light. Wonderful to connect with you. I'm Michelle. If you're new to this channel and amazing heart connected and soul aligned community, I welcome you with a lot of love and light. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, this is a pick a card and I read in soul stories connecting into the soul path to manifest from your soul, live and express from your soul signature frequency and your soul design. There is a lot happening this month. We've got a, a lot of energy, kind of very intense energy. So we're going to dive into that. Um, if you would like to uh, jump ahead to the timestamps, you're more than welcome to. They are in the description box, as well as ways to get in touch with me. Um, you can journey with me further through Patreon, uh, my socials, or I also do private personal readings, Soul Path Astrology readings, and also psychic channeled and medium readings, as well as other inner work. So I'm also for this month, I am going to be doing a collective. Um, you can skip ahead to that timestamp. Uh, there will be an alignment and an attunement meditation that we've been using to connect into the frequency and vibration of the soul energy that is coming through right now. There's a lot of shifting on a soul level that's happening right now. That's probably one of the reasons you are drawn to this reading. Let's get a closer look at the cards. I'll do a... Um, tune in alignment meditation and also uh, the channeled portion of the message. Uh, this reading is going to be a bit different. I got some channeled information uh, very specific to you that I'm including also in the individual uh, soul story uh, pick a card portion for your particular soul group. All right, let's connect in to the soul story. Soul story number one. You have change is always good, and you have the black obsidian cube. And I like to use the readings, I name it and claim it, working on that intention, putting my attention on my intention through screen grabbing or screenshotting the parts of the readings that reflect what I'm focused on. Uh, soul story number two is you'll find what you seek, and you have the Amazonite. Soul story number three, you have You Needn't Worry. Yeah, this month there's very specific messages and you've got Sunstone uh, to really support what's going on with you on your path, um, all of us. Uh, soul story number four is Start Where You Are and your divine crystal ally is, what is that one? Chrysocola, Chrysocola. I don't use this that much, but it came out today. So, soul story number one, number two, number three, and number four. All right, connect in. Um, if you are listening to the channeled message, that's great. Um, if you're doing the alignment and attunement meditation, that's great. If not, I will see you in the individual soul story. Soul story number one, number two, number three, number four. See you in your readings. Hello, Radiant Souls. Okay, so this is what I was receiving as I tuned in to the spiritual hierarchy and the oversouls guiding us on our path. Um, not only a lot of change in September, there's a lot of intense energy. The message is that you're going to have a lot more clarity and, and it's about moving through. There's going to be a lot of work there's going to be a lot required of you. Now, this is a cycle that started this May, June and is going into next May, June. Some of you that listen to Awakenings podcast, you know some of my predictions, you know in 2017, I had four days of visions about what happened in 2020, all of it. Vaccine passports, etc., etc., etc. The jab, the updated, <laughs> you know, virus, etc., etc. So, um, as well as other um, information that I received uh, along the way. So I, I usually do those kinds of channelings in small groups, individually with clients, um, in all my podcast Awakenings with Michelle Mache, where there's some archived um, episodes on YouTube. But I'm going, I'm on hiatus, I'll be getting back to that. 
Um, and I did that because I wasn't censored because there was no transcripts to the uh, podcast. So, and I have guests, so I could speak very, very, very freely. Anyway, I've been shown and been seeing a lot of similarities. Now, this is not to worry anyone because also within this time of chaos, there is a lot of energy coming through for new creation, new order. There's a lot of openings, a lot of opportunities, and many of you are getting this amazing soul call where you're updating the way that you do your soul purpose. There's something changing about your soul purpose where you're getting also an activation with your soul gifts. Some of you, it's literally a mission, you know, because our purpose is not necessarily what we do, it's how we do what we do. So there are changes that are coming for you deep from within you. Um, a lot of you are going to be opening up to more guides or guidance. A lot of you are actually going to be playing more of the 3D money game, really bringing that heaven on earth, really getting into your soul gifts in a way that you're extending more out into the material world or material plane. So one of the messages is you're going to be playing a bigger game. Things are about to get a lot more interesting. A lot of you are in transition where you're leaving a particular job or career or way of working and living and you're going with one that has a lot more freedom, a lot more sustainability and a lot more fun. This is going to require work. Spirit and the Oversouls want you to know that it doesn't mean you're off path or something's wrong if you don't feel something clicking in. There is a lot happening on the inner plane. There is a lot happening through your higher self, the higher vibrational aspect of you, which never sleeps. So you may sleep. You may think, oh, I'm not doing enough. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Take your time. Rest. Pull back. Drink lots of water. Earth. Do earthing. Go connect to the earth. Connect into the sun, the stars. Connect into the vibrational planetary energy, follow the moon cycles, really connect into the energetic patterning of your own true nature, your individual flow, your individual pattern and rhythm, and begin to align that to the divine flow or the universal flow. You will find your abundance there. So do not be held back. Do not hold yourself back due to feeling, I can't do this or it's too much. You will have the assistance. You will have the help other dimensionally. You will have the help from the guides. Spirit, the universe is helping you and guiding you and opening up to opportunities where you can use your soul gifts more and really flourish. You are going to be sent people to support you on the earth plane. Some of you will look at these people and say, oh my God, they're an earth angel or guardian angel. They came at the right time. People will be reaching out to support you. You are part of the great gathering. You will be uplifted. You will be right where you need to be at the right time. It's very important that you follow your own intuition and instinct at this time. This is a time to be much more intuitive and instinctual, to really feel through the body where you are being guided, where you are being guided to join forces. There is an up-leveling that's taking place. You are receiving new soul codes. These soul codes that are generated from your soul signature frequency and soul blueprint, your very own soul matrix, have the new design that begins to externalize into physical form. These soul codes, as you radiate them out, as you transmit, you receive soul codes back to you from other people that have the corresponding or complementary codes. This is how you will know that you are meant to connect with this person or be with this person. Look out for 10 10, 10 10, 10 10 2 9 2, 11 11, 11 2 9 2. This is a time of completing in the journey of more of the human existence and moving more into the galactic connection and connecting into your galactic brothers and sisters that join you now interdimensionally, other dimensionally to help to foster in this new emerging consciousness and create the rainbow bridge that is bringing in the new design of the game of earth. Yes, the game of the soul, the soul extending out into externalization on the earth plane to live, to express, to experience through contrast, to understand itself, the self of all selves, the oneness through each of us as it extends out to understand life 
love and living and to create. You are the creator cells, the creator beings. You are now gathering with others to create from a higher vibrational frequency in a way that brings much more joy and fulfillment as you connect more to the soul aspect of you. Yes, dear one, the game is changing and you are part of that change. Not only are you changing, you are assisting in the ultimate change. You are a game changer. So understanding this, September brings an intensity, a furiousness of energy where you will need to be very connected to your soul path and purpose. Get the support that you need, what you want. Take time for extra self-care, as you call it on your dimension. Self-care, care of the self, of the little self. And remember to nurture and nourish your spirit and gather with others in a way that you can laugh more and have more fun. <sighs> I know it's difficult, but Earth is meant to also be fun. It's fun for the soul as the oneness of the God principle, the all that is experiences and expresses as itself in the multiple forms, the multiplicity of divine creation. It expresses and experiences through you as you. You are that one, the oneness. So understand that what intensifies, what accelerates, activates. You will start a new initiation into a new vibrational frequency and experience an expression of that frequency as a soul, as you on planet Earth. Remember, you are not only multidimensional, you are multi-talented and multifaceted. Put the work together, put your intention into your creation at this time. Gather with others and remember to have more fun. We want to experience fun through you. Lots of love and light. Blessings to all. Take this time just for you to connect in to sacred spaces within. Begin by focusing on your breath, taking a deeper breath in, pausing at the top of the breath, reflect, align, go within. As you breathe out, feel your awareness in through the breath, connecting into your body. In your own pace and pattern, take a deeper breath in, pause at the top. In your own pace and pattern as you breathe out, feel that life force animating energy that is you, divine consciousness that is you. Bring your inner gaze and inner focus in that space in between the in-breath and out-breath and center inside. Take a deeper breath in, breathing above the crown chakra, connecting into the natural pause point there. Feel the connection through your higher self to your soul. Connecting deeper into the soul star chakra, begin to Bring your awareness a little deeper inside and as you breathe out, let that out breath be a little longer than your in breath. Center inside. Consciously breathing in above the crown chakra, connecting in to the higher self, aligning to the soul star chakra, connecting in deeper to your soul. Breathing out, drawing the out breath down through the center of the body, out through the chakras at the soles of the feet, connecting deep within the earth, connecting into that earth star chakra, feeling an extended and expanding yet grounded centering energy. Bring your awareness back into that space in between your in-breath and out-breath and center inside. Go a little deeper inside, centering within. Opening up to the awareness and understanding that your body is a vehicle, a vessel, an instrument of the soul. 
opening more to the soul's signature frequency of you, begin to feel your own individual flow. Relax in through the sacred space in between your in-breath and out-breath, aligning more to your own individual soul flow. Feel your connection to the universal flow of all life as you open up to the infinite creative intelligence of the universe, opening to God consciousness to create, express, share and love from your soul. Design and frequency aligning now, aligning to your soul, attuning to your soul's signature frequency. Relax. You are being guided. Relax. Trust your own inner guidance and intuition as you are being guided through divine God consciousness as your soul through you, through your higher self. Know that you are guided, protected, aligned, and attuned. Hello, soul light. Hello, warm one. I was saying warm one. A lot of warm energy here. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Michelle. All right, I'm connecting in for you. Change is always good. You're protected. The message for you is you're protected through the changes, but there is going to be a lot of change for you. Change of perception, change of belief, something core within your very being is changing, but it's only changing to the Greek degree that is bringing in more of you. So the message for you is the change that is happening around you, through you, as you, the change that you're making, the change that seems to come from outside of you is coming up. Now, some of you, this is literally going to be a new living situation and or you could be moving, relocating. Something's changing within your very own household, your neighborhood. Something's changing also in your routine. But you're protected through the changes. This is what spirit wants you to know. The guides are very present with you. You are protected. There is a protection around you. You're really being guided at this time, even though it feels like you can't quite put your feet on the ground. Things I'm getting up in the air. I'm seeing a lot of up in the air energy. Things seem to be up in the air. But you do feel that something is working. So you're meant to focus more on what is working. Look at that. The card doesn't even want to stay up. It wants to move around. And that's going to be you in September. <laughs> the card wants to move around. Okay, we're going to move it this way. Yes, so restless energy coming in this month. Okay, this is the channeled message that came through. Oh, you are receiving new soul codes to vibrate at a higher frequency. 369 will be important to you. The numbers 1010, 1111, and 222 will help guide you. So this is telling me 1010, this is two parts of your life that are changing. 1111, you are, the frequency code, the reason that it's changing within you, and some of you I heard star code, your star code, you're connecting more to your star system, it's changing, Arcturus, Palladian energy, Orion, I'm hearing, connect into the constellation, now whatever sign you are, or you feel predominant, sun, moon, rising, connect into that constellation, or constellations. It's going to give you a lot of information this month. 222, you're vibrating to a higher vibrational frequency of love, the binding force of the universe, the cohesive energy. This is the energy that you can use for attracting, for creating, for sustainability, for protection, for feeling comforted. Um, but it's a harmonizing energy and it brings in positive relationships, relationships that are, are 
very um, soul connecting for you, harmonizing for you, bring a sense of peace. It brings in relationships that mirror the higher aspect of you, mirror where you're the highest aspect, the highest version of you. Um, this also brings in new people that are more soul resonating for you. And also you're going to find in September a deepening of relationships. Somehow a relationship is deepening or important relationships become more important and more there's more depth. You're a traveler. Again, change is good. You're going to be traveling or planning a trip. You're going to have to have much more faith. Faith, trust, and belief in what it is that you're learning. You're learning something new. You're learning really how to go with this new flow. You're learning how to really be guided. You're learning how to be a little different. Now, I'm going to keep cards like this. I always like to put a guide card, those of you that work with me. But now I'm getting from you. Change. See, change is good. I think that's such a a beautiful way to have the card instead of this way because you're nestled in the cave of the um, amethyst so this is telling me and showing me again that you are guided by spirit you are being guided the amethyst represents the spirit realm right the seventh chakra so you are very much being guided at this time this is a very important time for you you're going to be, I heard, sky traveler. There's a lot about soul travel, traveling through the astral plane, connecting with other people in the dream world, a dream state. Some of you opening up to palms. Look at your palm. Your palm is holding your destiny. Your destiny is in the hands of your higher self. You are so being guided. That is the message for you. You are so being guided. The updating of your soul codes is drawing in a different experience for you. It might feel a little foreign. It might feel a little odd at first, but then it's going to feel so familiar. And of course you have here swan grace. So the changes that are happening, they might be kind of fast and furious, but you're, there's going to be grace where you feel you're taking care of, you're protected. You, you, you'll get through the day and you'll go, Oh my God, I don't believe how did I get through that? How did I do this? Because you're, your little self, that's who I'm talking to. Your higher self knows all this and has been relaying to you this. So that in some ways this is a confirmation. The grace is there. You can ask for grace. You can pray for grace. The grace is there through the change, through the upheaval, through the uncertainty, through what seems like you can't make happen. You're creating change. You're creating something that's creating more change in your life. And then you've got the thunderbolt. This is change that brings awareness and a light, in a, in a lightning speed opening of insight. Aha, a flash of insight, a new idea, a new direction, a freeing up. So if you've clicked on this reading, the change that's happening for you is freeing you up. It's bringing you new ideas. It's accelerating something very important in your life. It's accelerating a different level of soul expression and experience for more success, more fulfillment. This is bringing change that is clearing out the old and creating a pathway, a new pathway and clearing that pathway. If there's any blocks or debris, that's gonna be cleared. The message for you is that you are being guided and you are being protected on your soul path. You are vibrating to a higher vibrational frequency that's drawing in an experience in your life and a, and a way of expressing in your life that is more soul aligned. So the change is good, even if it's disruptive right now. You might feel that the change is very disruptive, but the message for you is to know that you are greatly protected. So like you are receiving divine protection. You're also receiving protection in the form of support, I'm being told. Um, this is supportive friends, a supportive situation. This could be a job, a position. This could be a colleague, a mentor, a therapist. This could be support, online support. This is support that is valuable, very valuable to you, in, in a sense, invaluable. You're, you're, you will, in the next few weeks understand how this support has been helping you 
whether it's someone to talk to, a shoulder to cry on, someone to run ideas by, or a special person in your life. And it may be something very small, it may be something very simple, but you're gonna start noticing the support. If you are drawn to this reading, you are receiving support and protection. You're getting the message here, beware of any projection, any projection of fear or doubt, and just become more aware of it. It's time to bring what is in the subconscious or what is you perceive has been holding you back, any misinformation, anything that feels misaligned, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up from the subconscious into your conscious awareness. That is also a part of your protection. There are some things that you have taken on in your life that really weren't you, or they served you so long ago, but now they're no longer serving you. This lightning bolt energy, this thunderbolt, is bringing in a new awareness, an awareness that you are supported through your changes. This is what the universe is wanting you to know. This is what God consciousness is wanting you to know and your individual guides that are supporting you. You are supported by the higher divine aspect of you, your higher self. And so in many ways, as you connect in more to this support, inside you are going to be able to do the changes that you need to do, that you're meant to do, in a way that doesn't feel so daunting. So if you're drawn to this reading, you are receiving messages of confirmation and support. You've got 20 here. 20 is a turning point. So this is a time of changes for you, and a turning point that is bringing you in a better direction, a better alignment. Pay attention at this time to the signs you receive, the messages, the insights that come from within you, your own inner knowing at this time. Be very aware that your support is going to come through some type of message, some type of symbol. You're going to start seeing more symbols and being guided by the messages that you're receiving from your very own higher self and God consciousness. Just heard you are the eternal sun and then we've got rebirth. See the change is bringing in a new direction. You're going to be able to move forward on your path. You're leaving something behind, some kind of situation, relationship, circumstance or way of being. For many of you, you're leaving behind an identity of you, an identity that you greatly identified with. It became an over-identification. So there's some way of looking at yourself in the world that is changing, and this change is bringing in a rebirth. You're moving into a cycle of much more abundance and support. And this support and abundance is coming in through money, career changes, new opportunities, and very important relationships in your life. The message for you is that change may be daunting, but you can trust it now. You can trust this change. This is where you're going. The grace is faith. You've heard that saying, therefore by the grace of God go I. So you're going to notice that there's a lot of almost or, or near misses, times where you thought, I'm not going to make it or I'm not going to be able to do this, and the help will be there. The message for you is that you are being guided and you are receiving the help that you need on your path. Acknowledge that help, acknowledge what you're receiving, and let yourself be guided to move forward. You may not have all the answers right now, but you have enough. And there it is, the Wheel of Fortune. So the guidance is, is the protection that you have is helping you move through a difficult or challenging cycle. So you can move from the downside or downturn into the upside. Things are looking up. Trust your own insight and intuition at this time and trust the messages that you're receiving. These messages of guidance are coming from God consciousness to guide you on your soul path. Now this comes under traveler or faith, so it takes a certain faith to understand that we don't have to slide back or repeat past patterns. And then you've got the King of Wands. 
the Ace of Wands, getting the cards from here, the Ace of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. So when you look at the timeline of the cards, it's that this upswing, this change, brings a rebirth with the King of Wands. We move through the fixed energy. To some degree, the universe, world card, the Wheel of Fortune is fixed. It means that you've been in a cycle, a fixed cycle. But in, within any cycle, whether fixed, uh, you know, init initiating, immutable, it doesn't matter. Wh whatever the cycle is, it's going to change. And so what was stuck in essence, or too fixed, or too dense, that energy now is releasing, okay, through this thunderbolt, through this new state of consciousness. And now what is coming through is a much more centered, creative um, person, a being that is willing to take the risk on, of themselves, on themselves, on their path, on their project. So this change um, is bringing in a so new soul aspect of you, vibrating at a higher vibrational frequency, which you have Ace of Wands here. And this higher vibrational frequency is giving you a new mindset and new ideas, and, and for many of you, a new vision. This is just beginning. There is a new vision that is coming through you, for you. There's a new vision of a very important aspect of your life here on Earth. Now, you're going to see the seeds of this vision. You're going to see the seeds or some some tangible manifestation within this next month or within a month. You're going to see something tangible that shows the life-enhancing aspect of this change, this change that is before you. Okay, I just heard Mona Lisa. Now that's interesting, Mona Lisa smile. What am I getting from that? What I'm getting from that is that you, ne you never know what's under the smile. You never know what's under the picture. You never know what's under the surface. And that is something that is being revealed. That's also in the beware of the projection. You may see people that you think are doing better than you. That's what I'm hearing. People that have it together or are further along. But no, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know where they came from or what they have. You don't know the other aspects or other parts of their life. So... Spirit is asking you, the God consciousness is asking you to release that. Whatever you think is happening, to release what you think is happening and to move into the energetics of what's happening. Because when you move into the energetics of what happen, what's happening, you move into ma the manifestation. So you are aligning and being lined up etherically in through the astral, from the Akash, the spirit realm into the Akashic, into the astral. There's a lot happening for you between the etheric and the astral plane to have a demonstration, what we call metaphysically, a demonstration of your faith, of your trust, of what you've learned, of your growth. This demonstration has to be demonstrated materially. That means it has to be a tangible manifestation of a higher ideal of you and a higher vision and version of your life. And look at what you have here. Fertility. I love it. Burkano. This is the birth. This is the rebirth. The birth, the rebirth. Pluto. This is the transcendent, transformative energy. And so a birth implies it has to be something that is visibly seen or experienced. Whether it's a characteristic, a quality, an understanding, an insight, whether it's a job, a career, a, a relationship, a new way of relating, a new opportunity, a project, you are aligning to a physical manifestation of the deeper changes that you've gone through and what you have wanted. And because you are focused on your destiny, Pertho. So this thunderbolt, this lightning bolt, this bolt of energy, of insight, of change, that you feel that you're being pushed into. You're going to feel like I'm pushed into this change or like sp the spiritual essence is pushing you, your soul, you're being pushed. But it's pushing you to birth. It is the birthing, you know. For some it may be pain, but some of you it may be just a sensation or feeling, a rhythm. Hagalaz, destruction, crisis, this is the birth. Hagal or Hagalas. 
So it frees you up to go in a new direction, to align more to what it is that you truly want to experience and express now at this time on your path. All right, Soul Light, uh, the rest of the reading I am doing on Patreon. You can join me, connect with me on Patreon. We have amazing ways of connecting and having that soul support on your path. As your, I always say, people call me a soul guide. I'm guiding the, the ego to release, the human conditioning to connect with your soul, to guide you to your soul's purpose and path and how to express an experience more fulfilling, more, more fulfilling and abundant and prosperous working with the soul codes, the soul signature frequency. Anyway, you can connect with me. There's a freebie where you do, monthly get, you get the energetic updates. That's great to do. Or there are other tiers from mentoring, from week, meeting monthly, from half an hour mentoring soul sessions with me, um, to community connecting, whatever supports you. If I can support you, please let me know. I have so loved connecting with you for this reading. We're going to get one message of how to align to this energy, frequency, and flow. A thunderbolt. Put in a thunderbolt, a lightning bolt. Aha! How to connect with it. I love this. Jupiter. Look at that expansive breakthrough energy. Jupiter in Leo. Express your soul, your heart. Express your soul through your heart, through how you feel, through your projects, your plans, your creativity. And in the fifth house, that is the lightening up. Jupiter and Leo in the fifth house is the way to connect into the energetic flow of this emerging energy to connect with the soul codes that you're receiving now. All right, Soul Light, I love you very much. Thank you very much for the honor of connecting in with you. Lots of love and light to you and creative expression. Hello, Radiant Soul. Michelle here, great to connect with you. Thanks for clicking on the video. And if you're part of this soul connecting, heart attuning community and channel, welcome back. I love you so much. So good to connect with you. For your reading, okay, soul story number one, you'll find, or two, you'll find what you seek. There might be something for, soul, for you in soul story number one. Boy, you're seeking the other. You're seeking the complementary. You also have Amazonite. I'm going to connect in here to the frequency. It's a very different energy uh, that's coming through. Amazonite, love, luck, abundance, to some degree making your own luck, um, really connecting into the heart chakra. Um, a lot of to do with you with serendipity and synchronicity. So I find that you're going to have more of what it is that you are needing and wanting or what you're finding. Really work at this time with the whole idea of synchronicity um, and understanding when something seems to be a co coincidence or serendipity or something seems to be lucky. Know that you have sent that in motion. The aspect of you that is continually and consistently connecting into God consciousness is being directed by your higher self to align you, line you up. So there's a lot with you right now with alignment. And this month brings a lot of insight and awareness about what aligns you, what makes you feel aligned to yourself, to your circumstances. When do you feel out of alignment, you know, out of balance? Now we're not always in alignment. You know, we can be in greater and greater alignment, but things can throw us off a little bit. So you've been on a path of healing and also seeing the other or seeking the other. This could be relationships. This could be a want to want to collaborate or connect with other people or be in a, a, more of an environment with like-minded individuals. There seems to be a lot that's coming in for you that has to do with seeking and finding what's important to you, seeking and finding what is my soul path, what is my you know, my uh, soul purpose. How do I express my soul purpose? How do I understand that? What's my mission? You know, so there's a lot of questioning this month. There's a lot that's going on that's bringing you closer to the higher ideal of your life at this time. What is the higher purpose or the higher ideal? That is the question that you're going to be asking yourself more. The other thing that I feel is that there's something about being more hopeful so this is telling me that you're going to be getting some confirmations of some things that you've wanted to have happen or manifest or you've wanted a particular confirmation on. 
Let's look at the cards. You've, you'll find what you seek. Let's put that there. And you've got the star card. Now there's also something about navigating your own path. So if you're drawn to this reading and this card, you're being asked to connect into your own inner compass. To trust your inner compass that's leading you to your true north, your true destination. The best way to experience and express your soul purpose. You're being guided from deep within your higher self to what is going to allow you to shine more, to have more fulfillment in your life, to have more love, to really have much more meaning and purpose in your life. You are being guided and you are being guided towards a breakthrough. So there is something about your load is lightening. Things are lightening up. The burdens are lightening up. We'll see what else goes in here. Okay, your channeled messages, the more you create, the more you manifest. You are here to create within the structure of the new paradigm. You will begin to find dimes and other coins on the street. You will find money you thought you'd lost. Prosperity finds you. So if you've been wanting to live more abundantly, more prosperously, that's starting now or that's picking up. Maybe you've already noticed it a little bit. And you're gonna get confirmation of this that you're going to find whatever denomination of wherever you are around the world, you're going to find coins or think there's a coin. It could be even something metal on the ground. Some of you may, it may be a special shell, a, you know, along the beach, a special rock, a piece of driftwood, a crystal. You may be gifted a crystal or a piece of jewelry. Expect some gifts this month, whether you find it in nature, on the road, on the street, or it's given to you, or you find it in your your house, your closet, your pocket, a drawer that you haven't used. Some of you are clearing out stuff in your house and you're going to find something that's of value to you or valuable to you, something you perhaps thought you lost. And you've got star wonder here. So you are the seeker of your own reality to create your own reality. You're moving into the understanding that you are a creator being. You are here to create that manifestation comes from creativity. It's a creative focus. It's a creative process based on creative principles. So in self-expression or soul expression, you are manifesting. And so the more you focus on creating and creative energy or creative pursuits or the whole idea of that you are a creator, the more you're gonna manifest. I mean a lot more exponential abundance okay and you've got muse inspiration so this is the time to be very inspired this is a time that there is going to be more you're the muse for someone and perhaps for many of you you find your muse your mentor your teacher your inspirer someone that you look up to not to copy not to put on a pedestal but in a way that says yes you can do it too you can do it in your own way so you're going to find confirmations. This is a time to look at jewels, look at jewelry. You know, wear that jewelry, wear that ring, that watch, the earrings, whatever it is. Put the earring in the nose, in the ear, whatever. If you don't, if you're not into adornment, find other ways to adorn yourself. Is it through a tattoo? Is it, you know, is it a tad? Is it a particular way of dressing? Is it a hat? Is it a scarf? If you don't adorn yourself, Maybe it's through cologne or perfume or aftershave or soap or is it, is it through essential oils. Work with that which is, um, I just heard kinesthetic, so there's a lot with the kinesiology of the body, the movement of the body, the messages of the body, the feeling of the body. Also, this what I'm hearing, the central realm. So a lot with what's tactile, what you can feel. This is going to, the senses, what you can sense, see, feel, right? Smell. Work within the senses. The senses for you are going to connect you into your sixth sense. So you may light, an, light incense, light a candle, um, really connect food. Maybe it's certain foods, certain beverages, 
uh, is it certain teas? I'm actually going to light this candle because it's getting dark. There we go. Thank you. So this is a kind of an auspicious time for you because you're moving into this space of more wonder and awe to some degree. Awe in the magic, the mystery of life. Awe in yourself. Awe in what you've come through. So you're going to find what it is you want. Literally, if something's lost, you're going to find it. If something was taken away from you or out of your life or you had to let something go or you had a loss, it's being brought back. So what you perceive as a loss is somehow coming back to you. Your cup is being filled or refilled. Some of you need to get a bigger cup is what I'm hearing, which means you need to seek more abundance, to seek more opportunities, to seek more, to seek a bigger, a bigger garden, seek a bigger yard, a bigger, you know, boundary. This is the time to stretch. Now, with that star energy, there's also a lot of healing. There's been some, some deep healing that you've been going through of your past or past expectations. So you're creating a new a new realm from which to play in. Let's see, any messages coming from these cards? Wow, okay. Should we take all of them? Oh my gosh, there's too many, too many. I'm keeping this because I'm doing an extended. So let's, but I'm getting debilitated. Yeah, a lot of you, there's a lot of change. There's a lot up for you right now. This is going to be a very emotional month. It could be a very inspiring month, very passionate. You're going to want to get a lot done. There's going to be a lot to do. A lot of you have planted some seeds that are starting to come back. Meditation would be really good for you. Sitting with music or in silence, you know, spending time with the stars, looking at your astrology chart, if that's something you're into, getting your astrology chart done, um, really connecting into your own, your star system, right? Your, your star seed energy. Um, communing with nature and you're going to find you're more drawn this month to night for some of you there's going to be a bit of restlessness at night or you might lie you know awake at night or you might be awoken with an idea or from a dream or just hearing something being more aware of sounds it's because something is coming alive in you something something new there's something coming through you again it's I, i'm really as we get into the reading it's this creative energy eighth house yes it's all about the soul. The eighth house is the soul. This is soul memory, I heard. Cellular memory, soul memory coming through. This memory is, you're connecting to some degree to your inner muse. Aha, what did I say? The finance as you manifest. So focus more on creativity. What do I want to create? What do I want to make? What do I want to share? And then you can monetize it. You can find the way or put the monetization there. But you have a lot of resources. So if you're seeking abundance, it's being drawn to you. If you're seeking create mates, drawn to you. Playmates, drawn to you. Uh, any kind of soulmate, life mate, drawn to you. Better job, better drawn to you. More money, more opportunities drawn to you because you're connecting into the creative aspect of you. That's a lot of what the second house is corresponding to the second chakra. It's how you reproduce yourself in the world. You are your own resource. You're using your gifts, your talents to create a new reality. And here we have nurture. So this is the time to nurture your gifts, your talents, your abilities. I just heard you don't have to go too far off too far out. Some of you thought you had to do a lot more or something more. And then we have the third house communication. So really practice communicating, open up, share your thoughts, your ideas, be on social media, text it out, write it out, sing it out, put it, do a video. You really need to communicate. This is a lot about the communication. You're getting out of, I'm also hearing with this card, you're getting, um, I'm going to put that here, you're getting out of a, a, a paradigm. You're coming into a paradigm shift. Your own paradigm shift of what you feel is valuable or possible within your world, within your training or life experience or age or stage or whatever. Um, the other thing I'm hearing is you've got to nurture your creative gifts. You've got to nurture your gifts more. Your, you know, you've got to really see yourself as a resource, your energy as a resource. 
and nurture it. This isn't saying necessarily you have to protect it or worry about anything, but it's you have to nurture it. You have to take care of yourself. This is the month to take better care of yourself. This is the month also to connect in more to your psychic ability. As you connect more to your intuition and for a lot of you specifically your psychic ability, you are going to know more about what's right for you or what you need to do. So whatever you're seeking, you're finding, and some of it you're finding within. This is, this is a very, for some of you, a long or extended process in your life where you're coming into this awakening that you have a lot more within you. And for some of you, this can also bring a sense of gratitude from where you were to what you're able to do now, what you're able to have. Okay, we just want one card, but let's see if there's any other messages. And I'm hearing you don't always have to look outside yourself. There's something within you. A path to independence. Yes, 19. But look at this. This is independence, but there are two dolphins playing. So you are seeking a better way, a way that's more fulfilling in your life, a way that's more creative. You're, you're seeking more opportunity. Some of you are seeking a relationship but not a toxic one or one that you collapse into each other or one where there is independence in your own path your own gifts your own projects your own creative projects whatever you're doing your own interests or hobbies and they have the same but then you come together so you're forging out a new path and it's all through creativity you have to focus on creativity now, if you're not understanding your creativity and what that's about, I would suggest, we're gonna get one more of these cards, I would suggest that you widen your interpretation of creativity. Because some of you have a very limited interpretation of what is creative, and that's what's blocking you. You have to see yourself as creative, as a creator. You're making something. You're making your life. You're making your opportunities. Now, it's within your soul. This is why some people say, well, why am I not manifesting? Because you have to manifest what is within your soul design, your soul blueprint. And that's where your abundance comes in. Once you understand your soul more, that's why I love working with the soul. I've been working with the soul for many, many, many years on many levels. And it's like because... If you follow your soul blueprint, you get what's best for you. Look at that, the world, right there in the center. You've got that Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius access. The path to independence. You're going seeking. This group, you are going seeking. I don't know if it's inner seeking. Some of you, I see the inner seeking, I see research, I see you watching things, listening to things, reading, I see inner exploration a lot, meditation, really contemplating, workshops, retreats, really going within to create the change within that breaks past what's too constricting in your life. And there we are moving on. So you've been at an impasse, but things are starting to move. And this month, they're going to they're gonna move. It's going to be like an iceberg melting. We've got six of swords and there's the melting. It's been melting, it's been melting, and then it goes quickly. So I really want you to look at this six of swords, knight of swords. That means that there's been slow, gradual change that is about to quicken. And this could be with a new person, a new idea coming in, a new insight. This could be literally with some new situation that's coming in. You're definitely going to have a new focus, a focus that helps you become more interdependent or independent in your life. Many of you are wanting to work for yourself, and if you already are, this change is bringing some kind of great promise. You're going to be, you're going to be moving out of the restriction. That's the biggest thing Spirit wants you to know and the guides and oversoul. The guides that are guiding you are really wanting you to look at yourself as a resource and get healthier. Now look at that. Just oh, You can't see it. It's off camera, but 
because for some reason when I was shuffling right on in here, can't, it was noisy, but okay. You've got Pertho, your path to destiny here. But the next card is strength or determination. And I look at that at horse medicine. You've got to look at your horsepower. Uru's is, it's the ox actually, but eh, similar energy, similar family to the horse. What are you pulling? Are you pulling too much, too much burden? Are you pulling too much and you can't let go? Okay, your necessities are going to be seen, but your needs will be met. So some of you have some things coming up and you're like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do that? Am I going to be able to afford that? Am I going to be able to have that? Yes, your needs will be met. If you're seeking the money for something, you're going to find it. It's either going to be given to you, you're going to work more, you're seeking that job, you're going to get it. You are positioning, and I'm going to put this here, but I won't necessarily look at it. You're positioning for a breakthrough, an awakening. That's the tower. The tower is a breakthrough, is an awakening. Let's put that there in the middle. So though you have needs, there could be some constrictions. The constriction this month can be time. It can be energy. It can be feeling constricted or restricted. It could be Saturn energy, a Saturn transit. That's how it can manifest through the astrology as a Saturn transit. But the message is, is to keep on going, keep on keeping on, keep on going, keep on moving. Move your body, move your mind. Travel, travel in your mind, get in the car and drive, walk around, go for a jog, go for a hike, go, go, you know, robo, go kayaking. For you, the whole idea of movement, whether you're moving within your mind, taking in new influences, you know, research, the movement is going to help you. A lot of you, this also has to do with physical movement and not being stuck. You're being asked to look at where you perhaps make yourself stuck or there's a perception that you can't do something, that you can't move beyond something. That perception is being brought to light, okay? That's also the tower because most of the time the tower actually is not about an external situation, it's about an internal situation. So you're being asked to look at where do you perceive that you're stuck? Where do you keep yourself stuck? Or where are your circumstances stuck? How can you create a solution? Like, let's say, I'm just saying a little bit, toddler, it's feeling stuck in the playpen. But they then begin to play with the toys there. Or maybe they're in the playpen and they call the dog over, or they call the cat over. And the cat comes in the playpen and plays with them. Or the dog jumps in and plays, right? Or they start petting the dog through the playpen or whatever, where, you know, I'm just saying, you know, or like a little gated area where you gate off so that the child doesn't go in another room or down the stairs. So you're going to have some kind of perceived limitation or boundary. Boundaries are limitations. But it's only so that you create with what you have and within the circumstances that you have. You are drawing in a level of prosperity. So whatever you need to do, to align to the energy of prosperity, that's what you need to do. That's the focus as much. Align to, align to what you're seeking. Align to that within, whether through visualizing, journaling, picturing, imagining, or seeing the blessings, moving into gratitude. Oh, I have, enough, I have enough for this. I have enough for that. Oh my God, I bought all these groceries. Wow, I had that. Oh wow, I took this Uber or I flew here. I did this or whatever it is for you. The more that you can move into being the energy of what you want, being the experience of what you want within your own circumstances, you're manifesting the outpicturing or externalization of what you want. You're creating your own breakthrough. You are creating that which you seek. You're actually creating it in consciousness. So this is also a time of using your own inner light to notice what you need. Something could be obscured on the path. You've got eighth house. You may not know what to go, where to go, or there could be clouds ahead, right? Something is obscured, but what gets you out of it is your creativity and looking at the situation creatively or creating through it. 
or seeing the possibilities, aligning to the possibilities or what is working. So you might feel like you're pulled in different directions also. What you'll be able to do is listen and look for the clues that are offered to you. Spend time under the stars at night and let them remind you that you are a member of the cosmos, that you are here to shine. So this is why I'm saying you're going to see dimes, you're going to see coins, you're going to see metal, you're going to find a great flower or a feather. All of these signs, symbols, talismans, omens are guiding you. It's teaching you to be guided by the externalization of your inner knowing and intuition, right? Your inner knowing is placing all this in your path. It's nothing outside you. It, you your higher self is, a, is an alignment, is aligning to the universe, to God consciousness, to the guides, to the oversouls, to your spirit guides. You're getting aligned to that. And then what's happening in the alignment is you're getting the message, the sign, the symbol that guides you on your way, this guidance that comes in. This is all about the guidance, receiving the guidance. All right, let's look at your way to align to this frequency in a way that brings the most abundance for you. I hope that's right, the camera angle. All right, Neptune and Libra. Well, this is telling me you need to make a partnership with the spiritual aspect of you, the psychic aspect, the universe, the unseen, the magic, the mystery, eighth house, with Libra there. So you're moving in to this partnership, and it's all about you because this partnership is with you. The higher vibrational frequency aspect of you, that which is emerging, that which has the understanding, the creative principle, the very innate creative intelligence of the world, of the universe, of God, God consciousness, the all that is, the muse. It's you that is saying, I need this, I want this. As soon as you realize that, boom, everything opens for you. That's the, tap, the opening. That's the breakthrough. So your Soul Insights mantra is, I'm aligning to God consciousness. And through God consciousness, I am being guided through signs, symbols, serendipity, synchronicity, messages, and people on my path. I read the signs accurately. So nurture those signs. You're getting communication through the higher self from the universe. You're getting communication from the spirit realm. Life is about to become very alive and animated for you. All right, so light, um, if you want to join me on Patreon for the extended, you can do that. There's also other tiers. You can connect. Um, there's a free tier if you want the monthly updates, energetic updates. Otherwise, thank you so much, so, so much for connecting um, at this time. I feel your divine presence and I honor you and your soul path. Love and light. Hello, radiant soul light. Thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking on my little video and connecting into my part of the inner webs, the web sphere. You needn't worry. Okay, I do get, I get a heaviness and a lightness here. I'm getting a, a density, but I'm getting an opening and you're feeling this opening. It's almost like being in the cold and things start warming up or things are too warm and there's a cool, nice breeze that comes in. The messages for you is you needn't worry. You're finding that solution. There, there's an opening in your life that's coming in that's going to put a lot into perspective. So there could be a lot of concern. You could be worried about something. Some of you, it's health. Some of you, it's monetary. Some of you, it's your path. Some of you is, I don't know if I can do it or I'm doing too much or am I not doing enough. I'm getting, I'm hearing a lot of different voices, which is telling me that there's a lot of different people that have a lot of different concerns or there's one main concern. But it does show that the, the light is coming at the end of the tunnel. There's a breakthrough. There's something is getting better or it's becoming more, you're becoming aware of something or more, I just heard more known. 
something is about to bounce back. There's something that you didn't think was going to happen. And you've got sunstone, which brings in an energy of comfort, confidence, shining your light. It also brings you a focus on creativity and creative solutions. It's really a stone about on a soul, feeling good, good about yourself, feeling better, feeling optimistic. I'm, I'm getting job well done. You did a good job. You've got the phoenix here. So if you're drawn to this reading, some worry or concern is going to be shown to be not much. In other words, whatever this worry or concern is that you have, somehow it's going to be seen as not so bad or easily taken care of. I'm hearing for some of you that it just goes away on its own. So if you're drawn to this reading, this card is a message for you that things are about to get a lot better. Whatever was lost was about is about to be replaced or given back. Whatever's been diminished is about to build back up. So you literally are having some type of rebirth. Literally, there is a new direction that's coming in from this rebirth. So this is also about a creative energy that is coming in or inspiration, insight, vitality. Um, you're going to see new, to some degree, some kind of new direction or new pathway also that opens up because I feel like that phoenix is, well, is the ego, it, um, the eagle, right? You're rising above the ego. That's what they're telling me. You're rising above the ego and you're seeing from that eagle perspective, perception, right? So the phoenix, along with the ego, it is, is, the, is the eagle, is Scorpio also, the highest form of Scorpio. So this is a resurrection. This is a time for resurrection. Your life is going under a resurrection. So if you are, I'm really vibing on this card for you. If you are drawn to this reading, you're grieving the past. You're letting go of the past. Somehow, if you're drawn to this card, in this reading and it's calling you you're drawn to a resurrection in your life you're grieving the past you're letting something go an idea a perception a vision a person a circumstance a job a career some part of your life something has diminished it's lessened or perhaps it's no longer there but that's being filled you're going to have much more fulfillment from what's coming in a very important of your life is being resurrected is being rebuilt. This could be you, an aspect of you, quality of you, an approach to life. This could be an external situation. This could also bring a relationship in for you or resurrect a relationship that you thought was perhaps languishing or not going to go anywhere. So there is, it's like, don't worry, it's going to come back. Don't worry, you're going to have what you need. All right, let's look at your channeled message. You're going through a quantum healing. Your journey is about to jumpstart and intensify. Yes. That's why I keep being drawn to that um, Phoenix card because I'm drawn to the fire. You might have some ashes in your life of what remains, but there's a fire that's building. I'm even seeing fire in this card here, right? This red-orange energy. So whether that's the fire of inspiration, motivation, the fire of I'm not doing that again, I'm not going through this, the fire of creativity or inspiration, moving into inspired action, whatever this is, this is a lot about passion and purpose. This is a lot about rising above, going above. Um, this is a very focused time for you also. Now, what comes in also though, okay, snake life force, the transformation. This could be for you a kundalini opening or reopening, kundalini awakening or reawakening, another awakening. But this is, for some of you, a transformation also within your body, within your body awareness and consciousness, and also within the consciousness of your being. So this is a quantum leap. This is like, hey, don't worry, things are being shifted deep within you. You're going through this transformative healing bringing more joy there will be respites so this card in your reading is saying whatever the process whatever you're going through now 
there is going to be more joy on the other side of this. And also to focus on the joy that is around you right now, the immediate joy. What brings you joy? Like your, your path is not meant to be humdrum. Even if you're healing, you're not meant to stop your whole life because you're healing. So there's a very strong message for someone here, or a lot of you, not to, not to overthink it, not to over worry about what you have to do, or you know, are you prepared enough? Do you know enough? Um, you know, are you going to be able to do it or make it or whatever it is? So this healing process is also on the quantum level. It's very deep. It's not just on a you know a physical level, a mental, emotional, or physical or physiological level. It's not just on a cellular level. It's on an, an energetic level. It's going into the energetic matrix of you. So this healing is healing many lifetimes, family, ancestral energy. Um, there is this healing is transcending this time and space so that you're able to really lighten up this is you could be more sensitive you know if you if you are picking up on the thoughts the feelings ideas of others or the world or you're watching something you know on youtube or whatever on the internet or reading and you all of a sudden are feeling sad or you're feeling angry check yourself okay is that me and if, even if it isn't, it's okay that you're feeling and experiencing this because you're going through a highly emotional time. A lot of you are becoming more sensitized. That's part of this quantum healing is to really feel, to open up through feeling. You've got Pisces here. So you're merging. You're merging with the collective, with God consciousness. And a lot of you, this merging is going to bring you a sense of joy and inner peace. Some of you, you're merging I, I see a new baby, I see a birth, I see a little being, a little doggy being. Some of you it's nature, some of you it's another person, a friend. So overall it's life in general. So this there's a resurgence in your life. Not just, okay, they're telling me, okay, it's not life. It could be life force energy, yes, vitality. They're saying it's beyond that. It's there's a resurgence or a resurrection of life, of you living, of you feeling better about your life and about living. So you're going to be more think, yeah. And then sun, and I heard sun source, soul source. So you're going to think differently. So the, the key for you for over worrying or any doubt is to move out of the mind, move into feeling, feeling your body, feeling your breath, breath awareness. Um, you know, do some breath work, movement, qigong, walk, run, dance. Um, the, the message for you is to get out of your head and get into your feelings about stuff. Even saying, instead of, I think, I feel. Because you're going to be, through the energy centers of your body, you're connecting more to source energy, your source, the sun energy, the vibrancy of the sun a lot of you have a lot to do with the sixth chakra. There's a lot with the sixth chakra. Um, what I'm getting from that, is, well, sixth chakra is the mental realm, the mind. But you're going to be connecting into the mind. Um, oh, you're the mystic. This is about being the mystic. Devotion. Mantra meditation is power for you. Mantra, affirmations, working with music and words putting words or poetry to music or listening to songs, you know, very life-affirming songs. I want to take one more card from here. What is it? Oh, yeah, intention, threshold. Oh, I see what they're saying. That's why. Okay, they wanted me to show a card. Sometimes if I'm not getting something, they say, pick a card. Okay. You're to focus on your intention and then get out of your mind. Use your mind to focus on your intention, but not to over-focus on solving a problem or worry. So if you think of your intention, focus on your intention and then, re then release the mind. Let the mind focus on something else. Do something else. That's what they're saying. Do something else. Focus on something else. I'm also feeling a very strong uh, shamanic and or tribal energy here with a particular tribe, whether indigenous, native tribe, or soul tribe that you're very much connecting with. 
Now, this could be an artist group, right? An artist collective. This could be a medical group. But you, you come from a very strong tribe. This could be golfers. Are you the golfers? Are you a musician? Are you a tribe of DJs? Are you a tribe of healers or light workers or astrologers? You have a very strong group. There's a very strong group awareness. And through this group, physically or online, this, this particular group that takes a human form, right? It's an earth group. You're connecting in more to group consciousness and group awareness. You're aware of the group. Is this the group of ecstatic dancers? Is this the group of gymnasts? Do you see what I'm saying? You're identifying um, with this group. There's a lot with this group. And the, the group energy can greatly um, help you at this time. It's, it's, a so, it's a source of power and empowerment for you. So you could be, if you're not yet with this group, that you're getting ready to find this group, okay? It's your solar group is what I'm hearing. It's a soul, it's a tribe. But some people have many groups, you know, that, that um, okay, let's see. Well, I've never seen this card. What is this? All that blue. Treat yourself like royalty. Yes. That's the quantum healing. When we connect to our royalty, and we are, we are aristocratic, we are royalty from the cosmic sphere, right? We are royalty, other dimensional, planetary, right? The constellation we come from. We are royalty. You are that. Let that royalty guide you. This is really about... letting your joy lead you, but the sun, so the, the mind has gotten in the way, the words, the thoughts that have gotten in the way. Part of the healing is you connecting into your joy. You are worth it. You are valuable. To some degree, you're invaluable. You cannot put a price on you and what you know. There is ancient memory here. I'm really getting this whole ancient energy and also perhaps working with animal beings or animal medicine. Um, you could be part of the bird tribe. You could also um, work with dreams or, or dream. a dream catcher would be good for you. You, you need to s stabilize your energy somehow. Now, I don't know if that's through... They're talking about inner security. Stabilize your dreams. It's really about putting your attention on your intention. You're going through this testing period. That's what this healing is about. But it's ancient. You're like to connect with this ancient memory. You're, you're really... The, there's an opening in the upper chakras that's opening up. And this is reminding me of... In my work that I do shamanically, this the ancestor center. You got a lot going on in between the shoulder blades. That's it's also the heart chakra, but it has a lot to do with resonance with how, who and what you're resonating with. So this tribe could be other dimensional. This could be past life. This could be just who and what you most identify with right now on your path, or whom you identify with on your path. Um, let's get some tarot and see. But you're going to have the people, you're going to have what you need, and the right people are going to be there. So I'm really getting that this is kind of initiation with about how do you clear your mind, and how do you not get stuck in worry or circular thinking, right? How do you tap into that ancient memory within your body or ancient wisdom? What is the way that you do that? And, and use your mind for creativity. Yes, yeah, see, look what's on the bottom. So again, the anxiety, the worry, and some of it, oh, okay, hold on, I'm getting another message. Okay, you've got the world. Let me just get the cards out because the message is coming out as the cards are coming out. As I'm connecting with the cards. Okay, I see what's happening. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay. And then we have the moon. All right, so yes, yes, yes. The anxiety of going in a new level or a new direction or the changes that are happening, whether within your individual life or collectively on the earth at this time. 
and so there is you know you have a lot mentally going on there's there's a lot that you're managing or having to do whether you're bridging from one thing to another or what's going on externally um, so there you are balancing a lot but what's going to help you also sun be in the sun get sun be in the sunshine be outdoors uh, drive walk run whatever it, where the wind is okay, the wind in your hair get up high whether driving up or mountain if you're in the flatlands just be more around sun whenever you can you know or light some form of light some of you also infrared light or LED red light would be really good infrared I'm hearing if you if some of you this is body healing but also LED light can bring a lot of relaxation help yourself heal this month whatever that means to you but not stopping your life doing more joyful more peaceful things things that calm the body or calm the mind relax the body um, but what's happening is the old is passing and the new is coming in so you're having to balance a lot and there's just going to be a lot coming up you know for you this 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 month there's there's just a lot there's a there's a lot churning there's a lot that's coming up for you to look at or review and leave and pass on you know there, there's just a lot coming up around you it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just what it is and so the the more that you cannot assign a judgment on what's coming up right so some of this oppression a lot of some of you are thinking god i'm working hard or i'm doing a lot in this particular area or particular situation and you're not seeing the payoff you're not seeing the payment yet but you will it's 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 starting to form um I'm going to take those two because that few see wealth and abundance you have a very interesting time uh this month so there's a lot going on i hope you can see this oh maybe they're not showing oh i hope the other cards were showing yeah you have and then destiny the mystery so some of you are wondering about your security you're wondering about your basic needs can I do it? Yes, you can, but you've got, it's like you've got to put the the needle, you know, or the, the thread through the needle. You, you've got to put the camel through the needle. You know what I mean? It's going to seem impossible, but you're going to be able to do it. And then we have introspection, waning gibbous, celebration, full moon. Look for changes around the full moon of this month. You might have had some changes the full moon in August, right? Might have been some changes there. Because I think we had Pisces somewhere. Didn't I see Pisces? Yeah, sensitize. Menas, humanity or awareness. So yeah, some of you, you need to kind of watch what you're watching or taking in or what you're believing about what's going on in your life um, or the world. And you have to see that, okay, I'm creating or building something new and that doesn't mean that things aren't going to work out for me that doesn't mean that my dreams aren't going to become a reality that doesn't mean that I can't make this happen or I can't make this change so you're really being questioned you're questioning yourself and that question is coming out through the um, the universe around you the world so I'm getting mirror here, the mirroring, but looking at a different mirror. So you're going to see yourself in a new light. And some of you are turning away from over comparing yourself or having uh, certain expectations, whether unrealistic expectations, too high, too low. And you're starting to see yourself in a new light and have your own individual expectation. Right. You know, with hypnotherapy, I've worked with a lot of people, uh, elite athletes from everything, surfers, um, I don't know, race car driver, what else? Cyclists, um, gymnasts, uh, Olympic 440 runners, whatever, triathletes, da 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 da. Um, the, what, the best ones, the ones that really excelled, when I asked them about the competition, they said they never competed with anyone. They always competed with themselves. So that might be a message for you. So, in other words, yes, they know on one level, oh, you know, I did that mile or that 440 in four minutes and so-and-so did it in 
Yes, they know that, but they're not going and training and working out and trying to beat that person. They're not comparing themselves. They, they look at that, oh, that person has this gait, they do this, they do this exercise. But they do the exercises that are right for them, they do the times, they do the coaching, they get the coaching that's right for them, not the other person and try to follow what the other person is doing. They actually have very individual coaching. So that might be something for you, is coaching, getting coached or individual coaching, or maybe you're doing something with individual coaching. But the message for you is you're not, there's no one to compare you to, you are royalty. The only competition you have is with yourself, your best version becoming the best version, updating, up-leveling from the previous version of you, learning from the previous version or previous experiences in your life. So that's gonna take a lot of stress and strain off of you. All right, Soul Light, let's see how for Soul Story number three to align to this frequency, this vibration, this quantum healing. Yeah, you're going through it. Ooh, letting go of the past, South Nodi. South node in Aries, and by the way, the south node is in, collectively, the south node is in Libra, but for you, the south node in Aries in the third house. For one, let go of over-focus of you, what you're doing or not doing, okay? And doing it all on your own, um, because you've got support here. You've got connecting with other people. That's part of your healing. That's part of your rebalancing. Uh, there's going to be a lot of intensity. Reach out. Get the support. Talk to a friend. You know, if you're connected on Patreon, reach out to me. Leave a note in the comments. Message me. You know, or other people in the Patreon community. Reach out to these communities you have or spend more time in community. So you're learning something from your past, and now you need to bring it forward in your life, your routine, your lifestyle, your perhaps your community or through your communication. You need to bring what you've learned and what you've gotten through forward. You know, and I'm here expect the best because you're moving, even though you're moving through uncertain times and there might be a lot pulling on you. You could be feeling the weight of the world or whatever the world is going through empathically. You could be feeling a lot right now or not knowing where you stand or where you're meant to go. But what's coming is this amazing increase, an inner and outer wealth. What's coming up for you is an increase in knowledge and awareness, self-awareness, wisdom. What's coming for you is an increase financially, is that you're able to make that inner wealth or what you know, that wisdom or what you do, you're able to move forward. You're able to apply that. You're able to accrue monetary wealth through what you do through some source of income. So they're also being asked to dig deep. Go back into your dreams. What do you dream of doing? What do you want to do? Your soul insights mantra to support you on your path is I bring forward my own inner knowing and knowledge in a way that supports me on my path. All right, Radiant Soul Light, thank you so much for being here, clicking on this video, connecting with me. I wish you so much inner peace, calm, and joy. And if you want to do watch further, the um, extended will be on Patreon. Um, also, there are other ways, other tiers. I think there's four or five tiers. Um, anyway, there's ways to connect with me in the description box as well as Patreon. And if I see you there, say hello, let me know uh, who you are. And uh, if I don't, then I'll see you in another reading. And if I don't see you in another reading, I know I'll see you on the soul path. And if not, I wish you so much abundance. Hello, Radiant Soul Light. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you clicking on this video. If you're new and um, allowing me to tune in for you, giving it a chance, giving it a whirl. And those of you that have been traveling with me for a while, hello, welcome. Big hug to all of you. Well, start where you are. Mm -mm -mm. And you've got Chris Acola. Wow, things are about to extend, expand for you. Um, right away, I'm getting others on the other side, whether you work with spirit guides, a spirit team, or you have friends or family on the other side, or a particular teacher, 
grandparent, there is support. You are being so supported right now. The message for you is the slate may not be clean. It might be a little messy. Go for it. Start where you are. You don't have to make things perfect. You don't have to change things. There's not more to learn or more to do. Start where you are. September is the time to start. So this is really that message is clear. Start where you are. You're at the top. You might feel you're at the bottom. Maybe you're at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Start whatever it is that you want where you are. Focus right where you are. Right now, this is the time to be really focused on the present. This is really about, you can be lightly focused on the future or creating or planning something, but you have a lot of opportunity in the present. Um, I want to bring Chris Acola in because this has a lot to do with song your soul signature frequency, your sound, your tone, the vibration of you. Um, Chris Acola also brings a connection to singing, song, um, connecting into your very own vibrational frequency. It also has to do with um, a deep healing level and feeling connected really into the all that is, the collective unconscious, if you will, the collective unconscious of the, of the universe, right? Um, it's also about releasing some kind of worry. So there might be some kind of attachment or worry that you're going through, something, that, some kind of change. Um, Chris Acola also brings a fresh start. There's a fresh start in something that you wanna do, a fresh approach. Now it's interesting because you've got start where you are. So no matter where you are, what you're doing, what you perceive you have or don't have, or how prepared you feel you are or aren't, start where you are, the fresh start is in your present circumstances. Okay, I love that. Okay, and you've got ocean source. Oh, whale memory, that's the sound, the tone. Okay, let's look and see what the message is that I channeled before the reading. Oh, you are a divine oracle, share your message. You now, look at that, you now begin to broadcast from a different wavelength and attract to transmit a higher vibrational frequency. Work with sound, tones. The key of E harmonizes you. Okay, I'm not a musician, so let me know what that key is and what it sounds like. I'm gonna listen to it, see if I can find it later. Wow, okay, you're a divine oracle. Start where you are, you have gifts. You have gifts that need to be utilized right here, right now. Whatever you're doing, whatever your job, whatever your career, whatever your position. I don't care if you're working at a McDonald's. Start where you are. Start broadcasting your frequency. Be you. This is the message is for you not to um, censor yourself. Do not dim your light. Don't censor. Don't dim. Now, okay, you have to be a little diplomatic. You know, um, maybe in some languaging or approach, but you're really being asked to be more authentic like you and not to dim your light. Um, you have, okay, I feel like you're waiting for something new, more something, more money, more time, more this, more that. Don't. The rainbow is signifying for you that the time is now, the time is right. look at this so okay so the energy of rainbow is bringing renewed optimism if you've had some kind of dis despair disappointment then there's a shift that's coming so if you're drawn to this reading and you've got the rainbow card there's some renewed optimism this is saying that a fresh start is not only possible and probable but will be very beneficial right now so if you start where you are, you have a lot of gains to happen. If you're drawn to this reading, the message is, is to find your creative flow within each moment. Keep your mind in the moment. There are opportunities in the present. The present is a gift to you. As you connect more to your authentic expression and authentic voice, you experience and express your truth in the world and this truth reverberates back to you. This truth is mirrored to you. You're now releasing the need to overplease others, to be overly considerate. You're now moving into a phase of your life where there is a powerful new beginning. You are bridging from the old set of circumstances 
to the new. This is a very powerful time of empowerment for you. So this literally is that rainbow bridge where you are being so guided, uh, so taken care of as you make the changes that you need and want to make. And what's gonna help you is the feeling, is the sonar, is working with tone, with sound, your own voice, whistling, singing your name, singing your song, doing anything that vibrates, mantra meditation, deep breath work, where you're feeling the vibration, the ebb and flow of your breath, right? The inhalation and exhalation, the rise and fall of the diaphragm. This is about movement, that movement that is within a particular flow. So you are aligning to your own vibrational frequency, your soul signature frequency of your soul design or the matrix of your design, the authentic you, so that you can broadcast or transmit that clearer, purer, resonating energy. That means your intentions are going to become clearer. Your dreams, your goals, your desire. This is a real clearing so that you are broadcasting or transmitting the energy into the ocean. You're tapping into source energies. You are a divine channel. You're an oracle where you channel information, channel healing light energy. You reverberate infinite source energies through you and transmit them. So you are embodying the vibrational frequency of the new emergent consciousness and you are vibrating that out into the world. You're transmitting that. There is no more to do but to start now in whatever way you can. Whatever the project is, the idea, the perception, the dream, the goal, the desire, the little goal, the plan, it doesn't matter. The business, it's to start now. And st small steps. First step is to just be you, to be more authentically you. Let's see what wants to come up here. Symbiosis, yes, because that's the source, that's the whale. You're getting, let's clear the energy, you're getting connection, collaboration. That frequency, you're tapping into that frequency and you're drawing that in to your life experience. This is a very profound up-leveling. This is a change it's going to change the way that you operate, you navigate in the world. Look at this. The way that you do your destiny. You've got your midheaven here. There's a deep transformational process, a rebirth, that is bringing renewed hope and optimism for you to do your soul craft, your soul mission. Whatever it is for you, I can see a lot of different people. I see crafting. I literally see crafting. I even see you know, white witchery or witchcraft. I see sp spell casting. Now, spell casting, what I mean is affirmations, positive words of intention, of confirmation. I see healing energy, light beings, light workers, star seeds. I, everybody, all races, color creeds, religions, beliefs, Christian, it doesn't matter, Muslim, whatever. They're, they're, you're all here. But you have a mission and you're to start now. You've been doing it. The message is to recognize that you have been doing this mission, that you have a mission, you have a reason for being. And it's not always what you do, it's how you do what you do. So this is very important. There's no more preparation. Don't wait. Whatever it is that you want to do, it's to start now. Let's see that message. Oh, seek and you shall find. Firebird, though. You have to start now. What are you, And you're going to be seeing feathers. This is a very, I don't know this card because I read them intuitively, but I'm getting fire energy. I'm getting the rooster. The rooster is assertive. It's the male energy. You're to initiate this month. Get out there. Do it. But yet you have the peace. You have the dove. You have the love. Love is the connection. Intermasculine, interfeminine, yin, yang, electric, magnetic. It's, it's all there. 34-7, let spirit guide you in your desires. This is about purifying your desires to be used by the higher will. The higher will of creativity, of manifestation, the higher will of spirit. Holy Ghost, the peace. The Holy Ghost is the whole spirit. That's what it means, the holy, whole spirit, the healed spirit. So whatever you're receiving, insights, information, downloads, 
this is about you and what does what is the rooster do you know I cannot do a rooster sound but you know what I mean and there's something you're going to leave behind you're connecting into infinite source but you're leaving something you're going to see feathers a lot of you already see feathers but this is what you also leave behind by this connection this is spirit into matter this is the divine form or what we call the undiluted aspect spirit right the spiritual essence this is the essence coming into the physical form the earth form so this seeking and finding, you're seeking, but I'm seeing it as also as an opening. Now what's interesting, I think it was, is it soul story number one or number two? You might want to look because I think they got seek and you shall find. Okay, we're not taking all those. So this is it. There's also um, astrally, you don't have to do anything. There's blockages being cleared. Okay, those two cards came out. Give me another message, please, that is... So there's a lot of work on you etherically in the etheric plane through the dream world that oh, if they're the same, oh, you are stubborn. Soul story number four, I love you. Sometimes people tell me, oh, you shame soul story number three because you said they're very chatty. But I love that. I love when guides are chatty. I know I love when you, your over souls, get a hold of me and make me see something or do something or push a car, or, or they go beyond the limit. I'm like, I only want to do 15 minute reading or 20 minute reading, but then they get chatty and it's 25, 30 minutes. I don't care, I love that, that inspires me. These cards I did not want to take, they came out twice. Here we go. Wood ox, knowledge brings wisdom. Fire dog, so you have fire bird, redefine your boundaries, yes. Redefine your boundaries of what you think can happen or not happen. You're getting out. You're getting out of the doghouse. You're getting out. You're not even having to go through the mountains. There's not challenges this month. Something gives way. You expand your awareness. You expand your consciousness. You expand your reach. You expand your beliefs. You expand your belief or understanding of what you think you can do or what you know you can do. You are expanding this month. You expand your ideas, you expand your consciousness, your awareness, your bank account. This is expansion. So you go from that bird energy into the dog. So this is very much about taking what is on the etheric or what is in the thought form and letting it, helping it, assisting it to manifest into physical reality. Wood ox, your spiritual out. Look at that, the crown chakra. You're getting the downloads this month. You're really opening up to source energies, the cooperation of two. You're really connecting in lower self to higher self to get the download through that six and seven chakra. There's a breakthrough. Your knowledge of yourself, of life, of whatever you've studied or whatever you're doing. Some of you in the medical, I'm hearing education. There's so much here, so many people. But the thing is you're waking up. There's an awakening to your soul gift and some kind of memory, a soul memory. You memorize something, you understand how to do something. And that soul memory is bringing you some kind of awakening, some kind of new awareness that's coming in for you. But start where you are, that's beautiful with what you have. If you wanna be on YouTube, and you're like, oh, I can't afford the background. I can't afford the camera. I have an old computer. Doesn't matter. Start where you are. Use the computer on your laptop. Use the computer on your phone. You know, if you have an old phone, use that camera. You know what I mean? Start where you are. You will refine. You will get better and better and better. Start where you are. Be where you are and start where you, you have everything that you need. Now let's see. Let's shift that energy here. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm hearing to sh shuffle. And there we go. Magician. I just heard Virgo, Sagittarius, obviously Gemini here. And then we have the tower, the breakthrough, the magician. You're, you're breaking through boundaries. Yeah, look at that. Already, look at that major arcana. We're not even going to look at that because that's in the 
that's in the ocean of the subconscious. You're using that anxiety, that worry to create, to move forward. You're not, you have a sleepless night. It doesn't matter. You get up. You get up, get refreshed. So in this, in this reading, okay, right now, in this reading, drawing this card, this is, you're creating your own breakthrough. You're breaking through an old reality or established reality that is no longer valid for you. You're breaking through some limitation. And with the magician here, you're creating this breakthrough. If you're drawn to this reading, you are the magician in your own life and you're creating your own breakthrough by your mindset, by your actions, by what you're intending. You are putting your attention on your intention and that is creating a breakthrough. You are willing to go through a boundary, to release a belief that doesn't serve you anymore or that is too limiting. You are breathing through constrictions and this means the restrictions begin to fall away. If you're drawn to this reading, this is a highly creative time for you. Start where you are. You don't need to rush. You don't need anything new. You have all that you need. You are enough for what it is that you want to do. In fact, you are more than enough. You are perfect for what you want to do, what you want to create. You are perfect for this time in the world, and you are perfect what you came here to do. For your soul path, your soul mission and purpose, you are perfect. You are in the perfect form, the perfect look, the perfect training and education. You are in the perfect time for what it is that you want to do. All you need to do now is take action. Start now. That's a very important message for you. It's time to start now. It's time to bust through limitation. And that's why you have justice, karma, Leo here, or Libra, sorry. Um, and you have the world, right? You've got that. You're changing your world. That's it. You're changing your world, your worldview. You've got that Taurus Scorpio access and Leo Aquarius access. So this is moving out of a fixed mindset. It's karma. It's time. Uh, you're going to feel that your soul is pushing you or you're being nudged or urged through your spiritual essence, the spiritual essence thing of your of your soul, right? You're being pushed into the changes and you're being pushed though through passion, through a new belief, through a resurrection, through a belief. You're pushing past any anxiety, worry, or limitation. This is not your reality. This is not the reality you're creating. You might experience this reality, but you're not going to use it. You're going to use the energy of it to create beyond it, but you're not going to stay stuck in it. So you have, this is a very fluid, perhaps intense, volatile month for you. And I mean volatile, that things are greatly changing. Um, you're learning to go with the changes and to support the changes and navigate the changes. You're learning to um, navigate the energetic frequency, the energetic transits right now. You're really learning to connect in energetically. I would study energy, sacred geometry, sound, tone, music. Work with anything that uplifts you or notice how your your vibe changes by what you do, by what music you listen to, what, what you watch, you know, whether YouTube, film, whatever. What What is it the vibe that you want? If you're watching something or doing, is it the vibe that you want? Is it too heavy? Is it too dense? Is it holding you back? Is it bringing you into fear? Watch what it is. Whatever it is, if you want more of it, keep doing that. If you don't want more of it, let it go. So you're really being asked at this time to notice how you feel. What changes your vibration? Does it change it in a life-enhancing way? Does it change it in a way that's healthy? Does it change it in a way that's empowering? Does it change it in a way that's inspiring? No. Next. Then you don't want to do it. Move on. You see what I'm saying? So you're getting used to this new vibrational frequency that's coming in and that you're going to be transmitting. You're attracting at a higher vibrational frequency. Now, the symbiosis, really, that trine sextile energy means that there's going to be a lot of ease. Things are easing up, grace and ease. Things are going to seem easy, sometimes too easy. Like, like oh, am I really doing this? Is this really happening? Wow, look at this. All of these cards. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. I'm going to try to shuffle closer. But... You've got breakthrough, burkana, fertility, growth, burkana. 
this is growth. It's slow, gradual growth, but after slow growth, the baby's born and comes, you know, crowns and comes out. That's where you are with the tower. You're about to be born, something in your life. Now, mind you, yes, could it be a pregnancy? Could it be, yes, it could be that. Surrender to the process. Your soul wants to expand. Let yourself expand. Let yourself not be held back. You'll, know, you'll, you'll have natural limitations. We do in life. You don't have to put limits on yourself. Rado, you're moving forward. Movement, travel. You're surrendering to the new growth. You're surrendering to where your higher self is guiding you, even though you're in the unknown. Some of you, this is uncharted territory. You've got Sagittarius there. This could be other lands. This could be international travel, relocation internationally. This could be to a place where you're not as well known, but you may have a sense of uh, longing for, maybe familiarity, but yet it's not known. Or wow, this is my vibe. This is my place. This is, these are my peeps. These are my people. Ooh, this is my tribe. This is my group. This is my interest. But you're going, a lot of you are going to have to travel or there's this next level of movement moving you in a new direction. All right. Iwas, love this. This is also uh, Ur. Transformation and renewal. This movement brings transformation. The magician transforming your former reality. And Hagalas, I love that. Destruction, crisis. Hag Hagala or Hagalas. Um, depending how you say it, if it's Nordic or Scandinavian, is also the tower energy. So you're freeing up. I just heard baby, baby cakes. I just heard babe, baby. Uh, hello, baby. Ooh, I don't know what that's about. Welcome, babe. Like, I don't know. It's a very sassy energy that's coming in you because you're freeing up. So there's this confidence. People are going to see you much more confidently. People are going to be seeing your gifts more, your, how you're shining, you're shining brighter. Um, your gifts, you are meant to use these gifts this lifetime. A lot of you have some very strong spiritual gifts, so they're going to be start getting stronger. You're getting the message, the time is now. The time is now to do this. And it is. This is simply confirmation. Do it now. Start now. Whatever it is. I'd love to hear what it is in the comments. Wow. Um, I also hear you're unwinding from something where there was confusion or you were held there like winding of past programming or what it's unwinding that, you know, you're really getting freed up to go in a new direction and to create something really amazing, really fabulous. It could be something new. It could be what you're working on already, but I feel like this is sustainable. This is, you know, income wise, this is more income. You've got the world there. This is a complete change in your circumstance. So if you've been feeling, you know, a little impoverished or poor, or I don't have enough, or you've moved, you've moved from lack consciousness into abundance, you're playing with prosperity, you're playing with love, you're playing to opening up to more, you're playing, you know, you're, you're in that high create mode. You're playing, you're playing this, you're in the soul playground. That's why I call my website Soul Playground. You are you are doing it. You're like, hey, I'm here. I might as well learn how to do this. I might as well create it. This reality, you know, I might as well make it a better reality. Might as well focus on the positive. Chrysocola brings optimism, also some hope. Okay, let's see. How does Soul Story number four? How does this Soul Story manifest, and how is it best for them to align to this vibrational frequency, the energetics of this? Oh yes, love it. How do you do that? Sun. In what? Sagittarius. You have Sagittarius and Rado. You're either going to have a lot of long distance clients, customers, connections, friends, kindred spirits, soulmates. Uh, but Rado is also commerce to some degree. Or you're going to work internationally. You're going to travel internationally. You're going to um, I definitely feel there's a change in location with this group and it's probably someplace maybe you don't speak the language or there's multiple languages or a different language or you could be learning a language but you've got Sun and Sag and where in the seventh house so this again clients customers for some of you the next thing on your path it's a lot to do with business transforming your world focusing on your destiny focusing on your 
soul gifts, your soul mission, your your soul purpose, but what, your soul purpose how it manifests through your work, work purpose, your job, your career, uh, what you do in the world. Maybe it's volunteering, maybe it's, I don't know, foundations, whatever it is. But I'm also seeing multiple sources of income. I'm seeing some one income stream really picking up. I'm seeing a lot to do with international work, international travel, and working internationally. Now this could be you in person, this could be online, this could be through offering, this could be through products or services, um, this could be through online component of workshops or retreat. This is travel. This is because as this oracle, you're, you're going to be getting the messages that people need to hear. And I'm so curious of the key of E harmonizes you. I've got to go listen to that key. All right, Soul Light, your Soul Insights mantra is, I am in perfect divine timing. I am perfect for what I want to do. And I am starting now. You're starting now. Whatever it is, you're starting now. You're in the perfect place. You're perfectly prepared. You look perfect. You are perfect. And it's the perfect timing. All right, Soul Light, thank you for being here. If you want to connect further, connect with me uh, Patreon. Or there's other ways in the description box. If you want to do the extended, that's in Patreon. There's a um, monthly energy updates. That's a freebie. Then the tiers are different ways to connect with me. If you want to do mentoring, we do group once, once a month and then mentoring. Do you want to connect in the community? Say hi if you do, if you join. Connect with all of us in this amazing soul study group and community. Say hi. Let me know who you are. Say hi to other people. Join together. So um, September, share September. So I will keep you posted on that. I wish you just so much love, light, and wisdom. And I just want to say just relax into the abundance and the gifts that you have and just have the idea to express more fully you. Connect with you again. <laughs>